Good morning, everybody. I'm up at some 1940s baseball fields today. As you can see, the maintenance is lacking on some of them, that's for sure. Two or three of them are grown up like this. Two or three of them are mowed. Anyway, I'm going to try up here a little while and see if I can find anything. And now I'll get back to you in the first interesting signal. Find off this little grown up field. Coming in at 25-26. I got a weedy. I don't know if I can get a date or not. Well, I can see the one cent on the back. Beat around in here a little bit longer and see if I can whoops. See if I can find anything else. It's so grown up feels a little bit hard to hunt. Got a wheat cent out of it. Here's the next one coming in, 1718. Thought it was a piece of pull tab, but it looks like some kind of little tiny buckle off of something. A little bitty. And these things here, they're no fun. I hate stick of bushes. Let's keep going. Here's the next one coming in at a solid 26. And I see a silver rim. It's going to be a rosy. Ooh, 1948. Sweet. I did get some from poking my fingers and all these sticker burrs. I'm going to work up this way back up towards home plate. And we'll try another field. I'm tired of fighting these sticker burrs in this field. On to the next. Field now. At least it's been mowed. I had one here come in at a solid 25, like a clad dime. But I got a little ring. It looks like it might have had stones at one time. It's about black inside, outside. We've been out here a while. I don't see any stones. There's a bunch of holes in it. I don't know what that's all about. I can't read nothing on the inside. It's almost solid black like the outside. I bet it's going to be a little silver one though. I don't know what all those little holes are all about. Anyways, I got a little ring off the softball field. Let's see if there's anything else on this field. On to the next. Girls softball field now. Let me fix to move over to another field. Got one here coming in at 2021. Got to be some kind of token. <laughs> yep. Okay, that's value. I don't think it could be that size coming in that range. Celebration Station. I found a few of those before, but I always like finding a token. Definitely beats me digging another penny. Let's keep going.
here in the ant bed. I bet there's a quarter them ants are trying to hide. There it is. I stole her quarter. <laughs> Let's keep going. Or you can see it's grown up as the first one is. We've got a really good target here. It's the best sounding one all day. Thirty-four, thirty-five. Let me get the sticker burr out of my knee. Man, them things. Whew, bad out here. Good old sand. But it grows those things. Ouch. There we go. Check it out. Fighting all the weeds and the sticker burrs, but Check that one out. Well, that's all kind of black on the inside. Looks like it's got some hall marks. A bunch of black spots. Woohoo! Fighting all the sticker birds was worth it. That one is awesome. If there's anything else in this old field, besides more grass burrs, on to the next. I had one here coming in at 3435, but I knew it was big. Just want to see what it was. But what is that? That thing is heavy. It says smart carrot. Carrot spelled like carrot diamonds. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I don't know if that comes off. I guess you push that button. It's supposed to do something. I don't know. Anyways, I'm back at the front of the place. I'm going to make that my last target of the day. I don't know what it is. And I will see y'all at the wrap up. Hey everybody, going to do a wrap up for today's hunt. Today I took the knocks and I went up to some baseball fields. It's been around since the 1940s. Had a pretty good day up there. It was a little tough on some of them. You can tell in the video. I think four of them were actually pretty grown up. Two of them had been mowed. I'm fighting through all the weeds and stuff. I did find some pretty good stuff up there. You can see everything I found here. Got a spoon on one of them. Just your wire and other odds and ends of metal. Not quite sure what that is. A little buckle off something. Piece of that conduit nut. Some zipped uh, zipper pulls. A little tag off something. Looks like it had a flag on it at one time. Of course, you get around them old baseball fields, you're going to get plenty of grommets. Broke dog leash. And just pull tabs and bottle caps and just all kind of junk you have to dig. I don't know okay on a clad today. I got 275 and quarters, five nickels, a dollar or two, four, six, a dollar seventy in dimes. And I think I had 36 pennies there. Oh, yeah, and the half penny. 36 and a half. <laughs> Anyways, for the oddity finds, got this little buckle looking piece here. I thought it might have been silver, but I don't think it is. It's awful light. I'll check it out when I get it home, but I think it's just bling. 
You got some bullets there. Got a couple of fire 22 bullets. 22 bullet casing, and there's the whole 22. I think that there is actually a blank, probably a starter pistol. And this piece here, I still don't know what this thing is. It says Smart Carrot, K A R A T. I don't know what that thing's for. It's extremely heavy. If you don't know what it is, let me know. I hadn't had a chance to look it up yet, so I have a clue what it is. Here are my better finds today. I got me a token. Celebration station. No cash value. Another token for the collection. Got one weedy out there today. 1944. It's in rough shape, but it is a weedy. I got me a silver dime. Got me a 1948 rosy. I got me two rings today. Got this one off the girls' softball field. And it is marked 925. I got it finally cleaned off enough of the black in there where you can see the marking. I don't know whether it used to have stones or not. I don't know. It's got some holes there. You can see holes in the back side of it, but there's no stones in it. I'll get it a little cleaned up a little bit better. And then this one here, the best find of the day. And it has got like five different hallmarks in it. The main one says Mexico Sterling. It's a Taxco ring. It's a really nice ring. And we all in all had a pretty good hunt up there. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.